The Freetown division has not been represented in the House of Representatives by UDP standard bearer for more than 30 years. It's predominantly a PUP constituency with the current era representative, Francis Fonseca, at the helm for the past five political terms. This past Sunday, the United Democratic Party held its first convention in the division, with Urson O.J. Ellington emerging victorious. The people of Freetown have spoken, and we're absolutely happy. I'm excited to continue the work for the people of Freetown. Ellington defeated a well-established senator and bureaucrat, Dr. Carla Barnett, who was once the Minister of Natural Resources before being appointed the Minister of State in the Ministry of Local Government, Labor and Rural Development by 160 votes, garnering 630 votes to Dr. Barnett's 470 votes. We've lost. Uh, my team is uh, not happy about that because we really work very, very hard. I've congratulated Orson. I've um, wished him well. I wish the party well. Um, and we move on from here. The same goes for the novice to the political arena, Freddy Cantillano. He received 53 votes, becoming nothing much but a political speck in Freetown. Obviously, I couldn't fight my contenders with money with that big budget that they have, but for sure I had two legs and I had enough time and I walked it all the way. Every area of Freetown saw me there. And we saw Cantiano detaching posters from his van and calling it a night, one which he would either allow to break him or make him. Dr. Barnett remained composed and professional but hurt. Of course it's a fair context in, this, in the sense that we don't really have rules, so you play the rules, you play it the, the, the way you see fit. And they, they, you know, at the end of the day, the people decided that's where they were going to go for whatever reason they did. So where did Dr. Barnett go wrong? Was it her machinery backed up by aspiring UDP leader John Saldiver? Or was it her political persona or lack thereof? Or was it the decision to not spend enough money for the win? Did she play too nice? I have not paid for any ad. You see, I have done no ads, no national TV or radio ads at all, at all. That costs money. I've done none of those kinds of things. I've focused on being on the ground. The banners that you see out there, I have eight beautiful banners. Those aren't newly made banners. Those are banners that I recycled from 2015. I didn't intend and I do not intend to come in and play the game the way men play the game because right. that's, not, that's not what I think I ought to be doing. Um, but I do know that I stand up, as I said to you on Friday, and defend myself. So, for example, um, earlier this morning, our, our DPM was in the line campaigning with people um, going about to go into vote, and I had to tell him, no, we had agreed that that's not going to be done, and, and so he's not doing it anymore, because okay. you just don't do that. I don't do it, and I don't expect anybody to do it, especially when we sat down in a meeting and said we were not going to do it. Would you not think that... You playing by the rules and playing fair may be disadvantageous to, to yourself because those political dirty tricks may play okay. a significant role. They can, they, they can um, and we'll see what happens at the end of the day. I am not saying that I am not aware. I'm just saying that my response is not necessarily to go in and do exactly the same thing. Ellington rejoiced having felt that his victory was well deserved. He had the very important support of Senate President and former UDP Freetown Air Representative Lee Mark Chan and that of Deputy Prime Minister Patrick Faber, who is known for his well-oiled machinery. This is just the beginning of the work. Uh, serious work needs to be done in the Freetown Division. The people in that constituency have been neglected for a very long time. And um, I believe that OJ has demonstrated in the short time that he has offered himself for the constituency. And I, I, I know from his own work ethic, from being around him, that this is something that is just a start for him. One thing I tell you I'll do with her, I'll make sure he continue to hit the ground and make sure he give attention to the people of Freetown. The real hard lives, Francis Fonseca, in the, in the biggest tsunami in UDP history. They couldn't beat Francis Fonseca in 2008. He's a tough guy to beat. How do you hope to take him on? My brother, as you know, I used to run track, right? When I used to run track, they say, keep your eyes on your race. You run your race no matter who is the opponent. As long as we stay true to who we are, representing the people of Freetown and ensuring that we deliver for the people of Freetown, it doesn't matter who is at the other end. It does matter, actually, especially if your opponent is the formidable Francis Fonseca, who has defeated the likes of Doug Singh, Michael Perfit, Lee Mark Chan, and Dr. Carla Barnett in the past general elections. Reporting for News 5, Hippolyta Novello.